of all about your work now. I mean, it sounds like you're starting to be optimistic for a vaccine. Yes, yeah, so we, we're hoping to start clinical trials in about eight weeks' time. So we've, we've got the vaccine candidate, we've manufactured it. We're currently doing some animal testing in the US. Um, and when all that comes together, uh, as I say, we're hoping to be in trials in eight weeks. And what would be the best case scenario, well, A, for that working, obviously, and B, for it being able to enter into full production and, and, and given to people? So in terms of it working, we, 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 we're pretty confident. We, we did use the same platform uh, during the SARS outbreak and we were able to show in the animal models that the vaccine was highly protective and safe. We, we unfortunately, because the, the support for SARS research sort of waned uh, heading into 2010, we didn't actually get that vaccine into humans. But, but because we had done the animal work, we, from that we're, we're confident we will uh, actually have a successful vaccine. And as you identify, the problem then becomes how do you make a lot of it very quickly? And we're currently having discussions uh, with various manufacturing partners to try and identify how to solve those problems. How big a mistake then, how big an error do you think it was that that funding was, was cut uh, in, 10 years ago now, isn't it? Yeah, so, well, at, at the time, uh, you know, we wrote some, some papers and, and chapters uh, where, in fact, looking back, we, we warned that, you know, a, a, another coronavirus pandemic was likely and that the, the cuts to support for the SARS vaccines would have detrimental effects. So, so we did actually predict this scenario. And, you know, it is disappointing um, that between pandemics, you know, um, the research becomes a low priority and, and therefore we're never prepared the next time we have a pandemic. So it, 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 it's, a, it's a problem in the system. And has that problem been solved now? I mean, obviously a lot of money and resources being diverted into trying to find a vaccine. I mean, do you feel now that you have the resources you need? So no, we, 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 uh, we've got a little bit of support from the US government, um, you know, but it's not enough to, to obviously get us all the way to, to a fully fledged manufacturer on, on large scale. I mean, there is a lot of money being thrown around temporarily, but our concern is that, you know, once we, we have some indication this pandemic is abating, that the money will similarly dry up, just as we saw for SARS. So I think the importance here is that governments have to fund pandemic research, you know, for the long term, even between pandemics.